Hey guys, welcome to Override Motorsports. In this video, my girlfriend and I road trip from Iowa down to Florida to drop my head off and my engine block at Maserick's Racing Engines. We swing by Real Street Performance and then end up heading to the airport and picking up Nate and his girlfriend. Uh, spend a couple days on Daytona Beach and enjoying vacation and, and some time away from home. So a super cool video today. Well, it's 8 a.m. Got the steed all loaded up, ready to hit the road. All the parts are packed up in the back. Nice totes. Got some parts here that I don't really think they'll need down there, but I'm gonna bring just in case. Then this is the box that um, I'm gonna be dropping off with the engine. So I got the valves, the main caps and main studs and miscellaneous bearings and stuff. There's my goodie box with head block, cranks over there, cams. Got a toolbox and stuff for the long trip. Hopefully the drive treats us well. Got a long ways to go. Made it to Nashville. We're gonna hang out here for the night. Hit Broadway. Chill. It's a halfway point down to Florida, so we'll hit the road again in the morning, grab some barbecue first, and be on the way. Saturday morning around 7 o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna hit the road and hit Sanford by the end of the day. Got about a nine hour drive from the Nashville area. Hopefully. Finally made it, but I thought was nine hours was actually supposed to be ten and a half, but with traffic stops and um, fueling up and construction and everything, ended up not getting here until 8.30, so it was a much longer day than what we thought it was going to be, but finally made it to Sanford, going to hang out for the night, go out to eat, hit her again tomorrow. On our way to Mazworks right now, going to drop off my engine, get that process started. And after that, gonna um, go to Real Street, check them out. I bought almost all my parts so far, all my internals and everything for my engine from them. So I'm really excited to check out their facility and see what they got going down here. Here we are. Oh, no, like, awesome. yeah. so, 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 so,
that slowly. The load the parts? Yeah, actually we, we had we just unhooked it Friday. So it, it was uh, Yep. Was yeah, you can't have somebody at all night though. That should take a lot of stuff out. I just didn't know. I thought it was like 60 pounds. Yeah, like over 1,600. Those are wet blocks too? No, no those are the dry ones. The dry ones. Yeah, this is awesome. Push out of these horses. I mean, for well, power. Our, our drag car is about 2200 horsepower. And a four cylinder. And we got a new car coming out with it. We shoot. That's that triple compound setup. I don't know if you've seen it online that Shane T's doing. Yes. Yep. That was good. We'll shoot for 3000 Nice. So, but that's, you know, with those motors, a lot of me. Yep. It's yeah, it's not just set up and go. Forget it. You're, yeah. you're constantly building. Yep. Like I guys like a street car, you guys, 600 horsepower. Yep. Be fine. That's awesome. Do you guys do like production build the, the intake manifolds? Or oh. just specialized? Yeah, like, for SR20s. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So you drill out the oil again. Yeah, yeah there's, there's just like a cross hole you gotta drill through. Okay. And those, yep. And then all squares. Yep. And all squares. So, I, when I was talking with the street, he, I was working with Robert, um, and he recommended I do the block off. For is that just for higher horsepower? It said to keep the oil pressure. It's up. not really power based. It's more application based. Okay. It's gonna be a drag car. Dragon Street. It's gonna be like racing kind of style. I normally, for an endurance motor, for like street endurance, mm -hmm. road racing, drifting, we always keep those quarters. You keep them. Okay. For drag racing, like all our drag racing, we don't really need them. Yeah. Because, you know, the, you're not really looking for the motor to last a long time. Right. Okay. You got aluminum rods? No, steel, steel rods. rods. Yes. I mean, in terms of, if it's more street, I would normally keep them. Okay. Um, just because it lubricates the wrist pin and it gets up in there pretty good. Sure. And then okay. the cylinder walls. All right, I could go either way. I got them if I want. Yeah, yeah so I just want. But if it's like a pure drag car, don't go. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. So, cool. Yeah, this place is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's when we half filled. Sometimes I just want to half fill. Oh, yep. Yeah. And all builds. Got to Real Street and unfortunately all their staff and, and sales members are all working remotely so they had the showroom shut down so I wasn't able to go say hey to them or check anything out there but um, made the drive over here. 
Mark at Mazurks was awesome. Super nice guy, gave us a tour of the shop and way cool to see their operation, how they got things going and and nice to see the facility and just know that my engine is getting taken care of by one of the best shops in the country for that kind of stuff. So um, got some more dinking around to do down here. Just gonna enjoy the rest of vacation. What do you think, Brad? This is the life. Hilton, Oceanside, seventh floor. You got the goods. <laughs> <laughs> Upgraded to Oceanfront. Amazing. Well, we made it home after a long week on the road, 3,034 miles from driveway to driveway. As much as I'd love to say it's nice to be back, um, I just don't know. That's, that's a bit of a stretch. This Iowa weather, as nice as it is right now, it still isn't isn't sitting on a beach in Florida, but um, if anything, that trip motivated me to get working on the car, uh, start tearing into it and getting it ready for when the engine comes back. Met a lot of cool people down there, saw a lot of sweet stuff, and um, just relaxed, got away from home for a while, and it was a nice little reset button. But um, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel. We'll have plenty of cool stuff coming up on both cars between Nate and me. Um, and before too long, we'll be ripping at the track with some nasty cars. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll catch you later.